Hi, this is Shuri with Rehash Fiber. I am a spinning addict. Today, I am very uncomfortable because my great wheel does not have any fiber to be spun on it. I spin daily for a little amount of time on it, or sometimes a lot of time, on either or all of the above, the great wheel, the e-spinner, and the drop spindles. It just depends on where I am in that day, what I'm doing. If I have time, I'll just pick something up and do it. So with nothing on the great wheel, I feel very unsettled because I spend a lot of time in the day in front of a computer. And when I have a moment with an upload or something that's tying up my computer, I can jump on the great wheel, walk around and spin and be happy. So what we're gonna do today is get some fiber processed ready for the great wheel. All right, if you watch the show, the binge dyeing show, two days of fiber dyeing, it was crazy but fun. This is what's left. This is truly what's left. Um, this was in the bins that I talked about that there was just a little bit left that didn't go with the skeins to the other project. So we have to pick something out from here and then I will introduce you to the Brother Drum Carter. What is calling out to me today is this really cool green sage. I know the sage broke in different colors. I have some of this teal from another purchase, some blue, some chartreuse. So I say we take this and we mix it up and drum cart it in there. Once I started buying fleece that I was processing myself or buying fiber from people I know, um, I needed a way to cart it together. I have done the other carding methods, but I wanted a drum carter so that I could do that process and have this lovely bat when I was done. So for Christmas time, I asked for the big gift of a drum carter. On Etsy, you can find the Standard Brother Drum Carter for great price, great solid tool. It's eight inches wide with a solid hemlock frame. And I did purchase the clamp, which makes it so I can't move it around on the table, but it's worth it because it holds it tight on the table while I'm spinning the drops. I opted to get the fine tooth combed because you can choose what combs go on here and the toolkit, which has two brushes this picker thing that I don't know the name of, but I'll show you how it's used in just a few minutes. The drum carter comes unfinished. And you know, at first when these tools were coming to me unfinished, I'm thinking, why? How can a company sell a tool that's not finished? Well, after speaking with others and learning from them that if each company spent that much more time to finish the wood, whether it's the loom, or Nitty Naughty or the other things that I've had to finish. And this, it would increase the price, it would increase their time, and it just was, is not a good decision for them. So they send them without any finishing on them to the customer. So this came unfinished, and I like knowing that the tools are finished, and it makes me just feel like they're more protected, and I like the color. So I got, the Verathane stain and poly all in one. So it stains it and seals it all in one. So you do have to take it apart, but just take pictures as you do it because that's what I did. I just took a picture of where everything goes and then stained it. And it took a couple times staining and then sanding and then staining again. No big deal. Set everything up in the garage, played some music. It was good. Then when it was all dry and Ready to go back together, went back together, no problem. Then I went to town using it. All right, we'll show you how to do that next. It's all set up and ready to go. I've got the clamp attached to the desk here so that it will stay still. I'm just gonna start picking out colors and kind of spreading them out and laying them out on the tray. That's what's really fun. It's kind of like a little bit of art, a little fun art, which you don't have to be perfect at. I don't care that this is in rough, lumpy shape. It's gonna help take care of it. 
I didn't pre-card it because I figure I have this. I am fine with it. Some people may like to pre-card it and get it a little more ready, but I'm easy going. I will take it. All right, so we have got just a lovely pile of fiber here. We're gonna send it in. I make sure my brush is down, touching this. By the way, Brother Drum Cutter sends along great instructions. It does come all put together, but they tell you step-by-step step everything. So you know what to do, how to set up the drums so that they're working just right. Don't overload it. It will make it really hard to spin and it'll be very hard on the combs. This is when the brush comes in handy. It helps pack down the fiber into the combs and organize it all. It's getting fun because you can see the color is coming together over here. That's always the fun part, how it all comes together. Time to use the brush to help all this get organized into the combs. I've got a fair amount on here. I don't want to overfill it for a couple of reasons. Uh, once it gets really full, it's hard to get off. And another, I want this to go on the spinning wheel, so I want things not to be too jam-packed. Also, I have enough here for another light bat rather than jam this all on. The name of this, I found out, is the awl tool, A-W-L. What you do is you find the metal strip here and you use your awl to break the fibers apart at that metal strip, like so. Another thing, if this is thicker, it is much harder to get this apart. Keep that in mind. Again, Brother sends you great instructions for how to do all of this when you buy the product. It's a workout if you do a few bats in a day. It's so rewarding because you have those bats when you're done. Well, I have it all separated like that. Start to work your bat off like this by brushing it out. Now I see all these chunks and I was going to send it a, a, through again anyway because I want it nicely organized and fine for the great wheel, but these chunks, I'm going to send it through again for sure. And this is how you get it off of there. And there's the bat. Oop. <laughs> I'm going to set this one aside and do the other one. I've got two bats now from the fiber that I ran through. There was a little bit left over that I wanted to just mix with these. And um, I am gonna need to run them through a second time because they look great on this side, but you see how there's still all these chunky bumps and nets and stuff. And I'm gonna run this through a second time. What it's gonna do though is it is gonna mush my colors together more. They won't be as separate but that's okay because I need this all to be smooth. You can see here the liquor drum has gotten full of little nets and stuff. So before I run these through a second time, I'm just gonna clean them out. I don't throw these away because I've seen a lot of real cool art yarn out there. And so I just save all my remnants of anything in a big jar. And when the time comes, I'm gonna make art yarn. It's mostly clean now. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these two bats through the drum carter one more time. After running the fiber through the drum carter a second time, I am very pleased with these bats. I don't want to do it a third time because I don't want the colors to mush together anymore. They mushed enough for the second time, uh, but it looks good enough that I'll be able to work with it. And I really like it. So there you have using the Brother Drum Carter. It's pretty great. Got the fiber ready for the great wheel and a new accelerator. 
and off we go. I opted to get the tool kit with it. Comes with the two brushes and I don't know. And this tool that I don't know what it's called. Okay, a side story. Of course, a side story. Last fall, getting ready for spin together, my friends and I at the yarn shop were preparing all kinds of fiber into bat. This is boring. It's super boring. I don't know, I'm telling you this. It's boring. 